It's 7 o'clock and time for the morning show with Tom York, Donna Hamilton, and Bill Bolin with Total News. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning show. It's nice to have you with us. It's 7 o'clock and 24 days into May. There's been a major break. From Alabama's number one news station, this is Channel 6 News with Scott Richards, Mike Hogwood, and meteorologist Mike Royer in the Weather Center. Good evening. As you have probably heard or read... News, Channel 6 News Update. Good evening, I'm Joe Langston. And I'm Scott Richards. You're about to see some incredible pictures. With the anchor team of Joe Langston and Scott Richards, meteorologist Mike Royer, and Herb Winches with sports. Good evening. It's all over but the casting and the counting of the votes in Chicago's mayoral election. Thank you. 
Mark Franklin. And I'm Brenda Ledun. Thanks for joining us tonight. He's not buying it, and a federal judge slams the door on a quick release of two Wells Fargo employees involved. The Iron Bowl is our top story this Saturday, November 19th. From Channel 6, your 24-hour news source, this is Channel 6 News Saturday. Good evening, I'm Mark Franklin. And I'm Brenda Ledun. Thanks for joining us tonight. From Fox 6, Alabama's 24-hour news team, this is Fox 6 News at 5. Good morning, and welcome to Fox 6 News Daybreak. I'm Bill... From the Fox 6 Studios, with coverage you can count on, this is Fox 6 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Janet Hall. And I'm Mark Franklin. Thanks for joining us tonight. Live from the Fox 6 Studios, with coverage you can count on, this is Fox 6 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Richards. And I'm Andre. First on Fox 6 News Daybreak, he's the million dollar man now, Dennis Franchoni is officially approved as the head coach for the Crimson Tide. We've got some heavy thunderstorms moving east, we'll talk about the potential for severe weather, take a look at the weekend forecast for your hometown, that's coming up in Fox 6 News. And a shocking arrest of a local minister that police say had been hiding behind the pulpit as a preacher. Good morning everyone and welcome in to Fox 6 News Daybreak. On this Friday, February the 16th, I'm Janice Rogers. And I'm Bill Boland. First on Fox 6, good day, Alabama. Proration, the cuts in school budgets, hit K-12 schools against colleges and universities in a fight for funding. First on Fox 6 News at 5.30, the Birmingham School Board is headed for change. Birmingham voters already decided they want a say on who sits on the city school board, but those supporters of an elected school board are gearing up now for a tough legislative... First on Fox 6 News at 10, the last suspect to stand trial for the 1963 bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church has been found guilty. We'll have live team coverage of the Bob Cherry verdict. And the waiting is over for Chandra Levy's family. Washington police have identified the former intern's remains. Good evening, I'm Andrea Lindenberg. And I'm Scott Richards. Thanks for joining us tonight. First on Fox 6 News at 10. Fox 6 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Devin Walsh. And I'm Scott Richards. Thanks for joining us. First on Fox 6 News at 10. Now, live, with the most powerful name in local news, this is Fox 6 News at noon. Tuesday break, Birmingham police investigate a shooting on the city's west end, and it's election day in several cities across Alabama. We'll preview elections around the mid-state. And the egg recall seems to be limited to just two egg producers in Iowa. What did Jefferson County health officials say you need to know about egg safety? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Foxy Tuesday break on this Tuesday, August 24th. I'm Rick Journey. Thanks for joining us this morning. Let's check in right now.
President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosal in Fairfield today. And we'll tell you what, even at the age of 86, Carter has no plans of slowing down his retirement. Congress galling on him to step aside. Just watch what's happening. 